Welcome. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Bradford Guardian 3.2 in the prototype steel. Uh, first off, this is not my knife. Uh, this was sent to me by a customer. I was curious to know what the hardness was. I've already found out what the composition is based off of a, another person in, in the knife community that has one and has access to XFR. So knowing the composition, I had high hopes, but knowing that it's a production knife, I didn't have high hopes that it would have high hardness. So I went ahead and I poked it five times. I poked it twice on this side, I poked it three times on this side, and I got a pretty disappointing um, hardness of 61.5. 6.8 as an average. As a five poke average, it ranged from about 61.5 to 62.5 in that range. Um, so yeah, disappointing. Knowing what this steel should be capable of, um, yeah, it's basically, this is like running Magna Cut at 61. It's just, it, it just loses all its potential. Um, couple other things about this knife that I don't think are the greatest is it's very thick behind the edge. It's about 20 thou down here and about 20 thou up here, maybe about 15 here. Um, and I'm assuming that's probably a 20 degree angle. It has been sharpened once, so I can't really comment on the original factory edge. Um, Magnetuff is the name that they called it. It should not be called that. And it actually has the HH for high hardness. It is not high hardness. This is a wonderful example of a knife design designed by somebody who doesn't know, or not doesn't know, that doesn't use knives. These scales should be pretty much all the way up to proto, right? Because if I hold it like this, I have almost no support under this front finger, right? I'm not going to knock the handle design. My Vulture kind of has a similar-ish handle design, um, but this should be all the way up front. This jimping is too far back. It's pointless. Because um, if I'm holding it like this, and I put my thumb on the spine to take care of, to take advantage of that jimping, I would have to put my thumb like this, which is uncomfortable. It wants to push it forward out of my hand, and there's no support there for my finger. So that's where my thumb would be on none of the jimping. Uh, you see we still have the... Um, some of the water jet marks around the perimeter of the blade. Um, these aren't as bad. They've been kind of tumbled out. Um, they're not as bad as, say, um, what's that awesome knife company? Uh, Montana Knife Company that says it's the fingerprints of the knife because each mark is unique, which is total BS. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that's not such a killer thing for me, especially on the price point of these. I don't know if this one is around the same, but it's, you know, 209 220 for one of these. So it's not terrible. It's a reduction knife. I do like, I'll give it a compliment, that there is contouring in this handle. Um, whether it be, it's definitely more comfortable like this than like this. It's a little fat for my pinky there, but if you have bigger hands, uh, it might be different. But if they brought those scales up, it would have been a lot better. And then move that jimping up or just not done the jimping. Jimping looks a little crooked, but uh, I'm not going to knock on that. That happens to me. Um, and then just as an idea, you know, you could buy this as a reduction in a mystery steel, um, which should be an absolutely phenomenal steel. If heat treated to high hardness, it would be absolutely insane, and I'd be much more excited, and I would still gripe about the designs, but it wouldn't be as bad. Uh, but for a similar cost, this should run around $222 currently um, with a sheath, along with this one as well. Um, these are both, both of these are in Magna Cut 64 to 65 HRC. So nice and hard, nice and thin. Uh, they just, they got to go to hand sanding. They just came off the grinder. The other ones over here would be 
more expensive. But um, yeah, so kind of give you an idea. Size-wise, you get a little bit, you get, yeah, same sort of dimensions. This is supposed to be, I guess, a 3.2 blade because it's called a 3.2. This is a 3. So, um, yeah, better ergos all around for this one. But, yeah, um, disappointing on the Proto Steel. Pretty sure that he, Peter's Heat Treat did this. I'm not sure what their advertised high hardness number was, but um, 61 is not high hardness.